claims the resurrection of Christ never happened and also asserts that Christ fathered a child with Mary Magdalene. Joining us right now from California is Ted Baer, the chairman of the Christian Film and Television Commission. Good morning to you, Ted. Good morning. Great to be with you this morning. It's great to only got two hours sleep. Uh, I, I know. Uh, you had to watch the big show last night. Uh, well, today on our show, we're talking about uh, James Cameron, who directed the Titanic, says that uh, when they were excavating for a an apartment building in Jerusalem back in 1980, they discovered a crypt, and there were a number of these bone boxes, and he says that uh, they have discovered through DNA uh, Jesus' remains or bone box, uh, Mary, Mary Magdalene, Joseph, and he says this changes everything. What do you what do you say to this? Well, first place, what they discovered for, through DNA is, uh, as you know, is that these people are not related. Uh, right. Second place, uh, the names were very common. Twenty five percent of the people in uh, Jerusalem at the time had the name of Mary. So these are extremely common names. Uh, next place, you know the. Jesus' family was very poor. They would not have had a family uh, ossuary. And the person who discovered this was the one who discovered in 2002 the ossuary of James, right. which proved to be a forgery. So right. most of the uh, biblical archaeologists, but the fact of the matter is that the testimony at the time is fi over 500 people saw the risen Christ. And these were people who were cowards before they saw him, and then they were willing to be tortured, mm. and they refused to give up their belief that they had seen the risen Christ. And the testimony is not just in the New Testament, but also in Josephus. So we've got pretty good uh, evidence. You know, I used to work at the U.S. Attorney's Office, Southern District of New York, for the fact that this, right. uh, that the resurrection occurred. Hey, Ted, is it a big deal that this is coming out? Is it blasphemy? Is, it, is this a blow at Christianity? Well, it, it's all of those things. And uh, the big deal is that uh, James Cameron is a uh, powerful filmmaker. He's also had a lot of uh, bombs lately especially his 3D documentaries, and which uh, weren't that bad, actually. But, you know, I think that this is a desperate attempt of uh, shameless opportunism, and it's sad, because if you really don't believe that Christianity uh, is valid, then, uh, then why deal with it like this, treat it like a Greek myth? If you believe, and those of us who have come from being on one side of the equation to the other side of the equation through a contact with faith, uh, then this is not going to change your faith whatsoever. Imagine, however, if this was done for Mohammed or anybody else, because oh, we all know that the streets would be on fire. You, you would have an uproar, <laughs> right? You, all right. Yeah, James Cameron wouldn't show his face. Ted Bear, uh, James Cameron, going to have a news conference here in New York talking about this documentary today. The controversy will continue.